Hi, I'm Jeff Keir, one of the owners at Planning Pod, and we're now going to take a look at how to use the budgeting tool and all its features. The budget tool is located inside of each event. So we're going to click on the events tab, and then we're going to click on an event. And you can see right here at the top is a brief summary of the budget as well as a link to the budgeting tool. So we're going to click on the arrow, which takes us to the budget tool. The place to add a budget line item is in the top right hand corner. However, before we do that, we're going to click on the arrow drop down menu and first take a look at how to create and set a target budget. I would recommend the first thing you do in creating a budget is first setting the target budget amount and I'll show you why in a few moments. The next thing we're going to do is go up to the arrow drop down menu and create some budget categories. Budget categories allow you to group multiple line items under each category heading. We're just going to create two headings here, one for food and another for entertainment, but you can create as many as you wish. And the final thing we're going to do here before we get started adding line items is go up here to the drop down menu and we're going to create some attendance types. Some types of events like weddings or parties may only have one type of attendance type, uh, a guest, but other types of events uh, may have regular attendees, VIP attendees, they may have sponsorships. This enables you to create uh, multiple types uh, of attendees and you can use these different types when creating budget line items as I will show you in a moment. And you can also enter estimated attendance and actual attendance for each attendance type. So now that we've done all that, let's go up here to the add budget item and add our first line item. And our first item is going to be an expense item. Uh, we're going to create a budget line item for um, a sit down meal. So uh, food and catering for a sit down meal. We're going to put this under the food category. And here is where we select whether this is an expense line item or an income line item. And we're going to stick with expense. The next area is where you can add an estimated amount. And you can base this estimate on attendance type, on a fixed amount, or in a percentage of the target budget, which is what we entered earlier. So we are going to make this estimated amount based on 20% of the target budget. The next area here is an area where you can add a negotiated amount if you negotiate with a vendor and negotiate amount that's different than the estimated amount. And finally, you can also add an actual amount. We'll leave these blank and then come back and make edits to them. There are also areas here where you can associate a line item with a vendor. So this particular vendor here is going to be responsible for the food and catering. And you can also assign a manager to a line item. And you can finally add notes to this line item. And when you're finished, make sure you hit the save button. And then here is our new light item and you can click on it in order to see the details inside of the line item. To make edits to the line item, you can click on the pencil button in the line item or click on the edit button here. And we're going to do that. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to add a negotiated amount. For a negotiated amount, you can either add that by attendance type or use a fixed amount. We're just going to um, add a fixed amount there and also in the actual amount it can be based on attendance type or a fixed amount. We're going to keep it a fixed amount here. And as you can see here there's subtotals for the item, the category, as well as how far under or over the target budget you are. And also it displays the counts for the attendance types right here. Let's create another budget line item, and this time we will create an income line item. Income line items could include registration fees, ticket sales, or it could simply include some kind of contribution made by parents, aunts, uncles, whatnot to a wedding. So we're going to put this 
particular income item under food and we're going to of course select it as an income item. We're going to create an estimated income amount based on attendance. So we're going to base it on the regular attendees at $36 per person is what we anticipate the income to be. And I'm going to also add an actual amount here also based on attendance type. So we're going to click on number of attendees is 126 and the final income we got from each person was $34. We're going to also assign a line item manager to this. And we'll hit the save button. And now inside of the line item, you can see all of that information has been totaled up based on attendance. So let's add one more budget line item. And once I am finished adding this, I will show you how you can add a payment to a line item. So we're going to enter in the line item tag here. It's a speaker fee. Uh, we'll put it into the entertainment category. This is an expense, so we'll leave the expense selected. We're going to add a fixed amount for the estimated amount and the negotiated amount, as well as the actual amounts. Fixed amount across the board on this one. And then we are going to associate a vendor with this line item, as well as a manager. And of course, if you want, you can also add a note or text to the line item if you want here. And then hit save. And here's the speaker fee line item here. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the detail screen, you can see where the add payment button is. So we're going to click on that to add a payment associated with this line item. So we'll add the date when the payment was made, the payment amount, and a little note for ourselves here. And now once we scroll down, we can see that payment has been made. And you can also edit or delete the payment if you wish. Once you've created a budget, if you decide that you could use this budget for future events, you can always save this budget as a template. We're going to go up here to the top, to the pull down menu, where we will find the save budget as template link. Click on that. And then we'll just type in a name of the template that we're creating. And we'll save it. And that has now been saved in the templates area and we can import that template into any future event that we create. And to import a template, you can simply go up here to the pull down menu and click on the import budget template link. Here is also where you can visualize the budget. So view some breakdowns and uh, the breakdowns here, you can view the estimated versus negotiated versus actual expenses, the estimated versus actual income, the pay to date versus balance due and event profitability. So it gives you sort of a nice visual breakdown of the budget for the event. And finally, under the drop down menu, you can create a downloadable PDF of your budget that you can print out and take with you. And as you can see, here is your header information as well as all the line items and categories that are inside of your budget, as well as totals. So that's how our budget tool works. But if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to drop us a note at support at planningpod.com or call us 303-529-1000.